The comeback of Shaiko from cheating to EU's best fragger. Over the years, Shaiko has been able to create a yeah. name for himself in the Siege community, and he is now considered to be one of the best fraggers who ever touched the pro scene. Seven, he's starting to turn on ace. BDS need, as I said, he's sort of like the- Is it too loud? Shaiko, unfortunately oh, yes! Yes! You guys made this very clear after my Bolo video, but things were always like this for Shaiko. So today I'll be showing you Shaiko's comeback and how he went from being banned from pro play entirely to becoming one of the best fraggers in the entire league. Shaiko's first taste of competitive play was on March 7th, 2017, when he joined ERA Esports and competed in the Coup de France tournament. The team's roster ended up meshing well, and they would place third in the tournament, which is pretty impressive for Shaiko's debut. The ERA Esports roster wouldn't last long for him, though, because he would end up joining B Geniuses just a month after the tournament's completion. This team change ended up being the right call, though. The French roster slowly climbed the Challenger League ranks and dominated. Non, et Mask n'a pas dû avoir l'information. Oh, et ouais. le bon kill de Shaiko ici sur Valet. Attention, le double est peut-être. Season, his new team would manage to earn a spot in pro league through the challenger league relegations and their first official match in pro league showed how much of a mechanical god he was it was like he was bolo on steroids there it is dizzy gets popped up and there is yogurt he'll go knows he's there go Shaiko or Bolo? Me personally, I think Shaiko. I think Shaiko is better. But I don't know. Long. He's gonna move on. Gonna have Yoga Shredder repel in. Beat Genius will win this series 2-0. This match made Shaiko's insane skill known by a much larger portion of the Rainbow Six Siege community. Before, he was only really known in the French pro scene, but he was now known by most of the community. And questions immediately began spreading on the legitimacy of his play. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? While well, at the time, the skill gap of Siege seemed higher than it was, and a lot of the community believed that playing at Shaiko or Bolo's level was damn near impossible. And since Shaiko was in Pro League, he was under a much bigger microscope. On top of Pro League, he also occasionally posted his highlights onto YouTube, and some of the insane plays in these videos didn't help his case. That is a good point, Shaiko. Okay, Spoy or Shaiko? Spoy or Shaiko? I still think Shaiko, honestly. I do still think Shaiko. Nah, Even I don't know. the community was skeptical of his legitimacy, their skepticism would turn into outright mm, accusations mm. soon enough. Because after his team's match against Pinta, the entire community would turn against him. To put it simply, he I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Shaiko's going to grab K patches. Let's take over this. Not an easy top. answer. Taking up that headshot on the Fabi. This is going to spell disaster. Shaiko moves on in. Dropped in from the corner office into Pando. He's going to grab a 2K. So far. Ooh, the small room. B Geniuses may have lost, but he proved that he was one of the best players in the pro scene against Siege's most dominant team in history. Now, after this match, someone had finally gotten suspicious enough of Shaiko's insane talent to report him for cheating. This person just so happened to be one of the most well-respected players in all of Pro League, Pingu. A lot of rumors going on that there was some suspicious stuff going on and no one could really point to what it was. The story was that he had more information than you humanly possibly could, so that would refer to what we call wall hacks or some sort of way to gain information that you shouldn't otherwise have. So. One thing that, like, no hate to Pingu, but it's kind of like, I, I, know, I don't know, I guess it's like you're trying to clear the, like, clean your streets up, but it's like, it's not like, I, it's not like he even lost the game and then, like, he won the game and then still proceeded to it's a normal human being we then came together the entire pro league scene and we spoke to the developer of moss which is the anti-cheating program that we use in pro league and but then yeah i guess like in his mind is more like the bottom and just trying to clear up the scene in it after esl reviewed the report that pingu submitted they would announce on october 11th that shaiko was banned this was due to the cheating software used in pro league detecting a macro specifically of shaiko allegedly spamming his four key at a near inhuman rate the community erupted and speculation began to spread on whether his ban was justified but despite it all shaiko continued to hold his ground still claiming that he wasn't cheating qui me vient tout de suite à l'esprit c'est ça te fait pas chier de savoir qu'une partie de la communauté va juste te considérer comme un cheater qui a purgé sa peine bah... Si, mais ça, je vais le prouver. Je vais leur prouver comme quoi, euh, en faisant des LAN et tout, que bah, j'ai pas cheat en fait. Je suis toujours le même. What does a 4 key do? The 4 key is your gadget, man. Uh, by default. So, essentially, I think the video is going to explain it anyway. But essentially, Shaiko 
like the moss like so moss is what they use in pro league to like figure out if someone's cheating or not and uh, you know on habana right i'm sure you guys do this as well you want you know on habana when you're trying to spam the gadget and it just never like your habana pellets just never seem to detonate and you're literally just g g g g g like, i have it on g like i spam my g button so he's obviously he's obviously been spamming four 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 trying to like detonate his habana and then the anti cheat within the rainbow six siege pro league has like detected that like he's pressing it too fast that's like not even possible but même après le ban je suis toujours le même et ils vont bien le voir en fait, ils vont bien le voir. I wrecked him, he cry. He cut it, and he got the so that meant the entire Bee Geniuses roster was disqualified from Pro League, and on top of it all, Shaito was hit with a two-year suspension from Pro Play. This meant that he would have to wait until he was 21 if he wanted to compete again. This put all of Shaiko's momentum as a pro player to a screeching halt. Shaiko and his team as a last-ditch effort immediately began gathering all the evidence they could to prove his innocence. They uploaded an hour-long video of them showing how bad Moss is as a software, and how results with it are unreliable. After all his team's research, they had also developed a theory as to what had happened. At the time, the community had speculated that he was spamming his 4 button as some sort of macro for recoil control, or pretty much any other cheat in the book. But his team would reveal that his 4 button was tied to his gadget in an unedited gameplay video they posted to YouTube as proof. So the team's explanation was that he was spamming his 4 button since he was playing Habana in the match he was banned. Keyboard or the computer register it, he couldn't, like it was a bit too fast, you, know, you press it very hard, especially on 4 when he's playing with Ibana. So it's happening because the, he has to... to Okay, this is another thing I also don't understand, right? Even if he did, I I believe Chad. Do you okay? Do you think he did have a macro? I feel like he didn't. I think the moss just did it all wrong. I don't think he ever had a macro. I think it just detected wrong, right? But for example, even if he did have a macro, even if he did have a macro for his four key, is that really worth a two year ban? How like how is that gonna give him any more benefit than any other player in the lobby? What you bring out your gadget faster because of a macro? Like how will that? He has a macro for his four key. How does that? give him any more of a benefit to because i think it's for the recoil okay so what you're telling me is they couldn't find any evidence on a recoil macro so they just found the closest thing which was his 4 key and then banned him based on that so they thought he was cheating wall hacks aim lock all that no recoil but they couldn't find any evidence on the wall hack cheating so they just got the closest thing was spamming his 4 key so they just was like yep that's enough evidence ban him two years activate the x kairos so he's like pressing 4444 and and smash it so so it's activated as fast as possible those who saw all the evidence were outraged by esl's decision and rightfully so but the majority of the community either didn't view the evidence or just took pingu and esl at their word since pingu was extremely well respected and to this day is considered to be one of the goats in Siege, it was really hard for Shaiko to fight the allegations thrown his way. Even with all the evidence he had mounted, ESL decided to uphold the decision and Shaiko would stay banned. But throughout this ban, he would continue to be harassed and belittled on the issue by his viewers and Pingu himself. Yeah, yeah, he's always cheating. Oh, you listen, you little... Dude, this guy, I swear! Why is he not uploaded? What the fuck? Because he got banned, a <laughs> lmao! Behind the penguin. Oh, what? Oh, oh, guy eliminated all he's so fast. I'm telling you, he's cheating. Now, despite all of the stress and constant harassment he was likely going through, Shaiko would continue to play and make content on Siege throughout his ban, with the hopes of eventually coming back to Pro League when the ban expired. Let's just say that throughout his ban, he definitely didn't fall off. <laughs> Now this is why I this is why I think Shaiko is the best fragger, right? Everyone says spoil, everyone says bolo. Notice how everyone copies Shaiko settings. Everyone like plays like him. Spoil is a close one, but even then, I feel like you can watch Spoil videos. Even Spoil is playing on Shaiko settings. Eighty four. Like I feel like Shaiko settings have become such a like fundamental. Like I don't know. Like I feel like everyone plays Shaiko. Every time anyone ever wants to get good at the game. Shaco settings, that's what they do. Much love, really appreciate it. That's my take. Around this time was when more and more people began to question the legitimacy of the ban brought against Shaiko. Maybe he really was just spamming his gadget button, I don't know. or maybe it was just a bug with the Moss software. Could it have been that he was just so good that the pro scene wasn't ready for him? Well, none of these questions could be answered, and to this day, we have yet to get a confirmed answer on whether or not he was using a macro that day, and I don't think we ever will. But despite it all, ESL would end up ending his ban six months early Ooh, on April 24th, 2019. Six months early, so it was only a year and a half. He picked up by a new roster under the org BDS Esports. 
Worlds. They quickly qualified for Challenger League and began practicing for DreamHack Montreal, Shaiko's first land since the ban. Kind of not the kid. I'm going to search for Montreal. Well, considering his showings in the past and all the recent clips that have been floating around the internet, but none of them were expecting him to be as dominant as he was in this tournament. Tades out, and he's going to find another under pixel and another. There is no fear in this. Oh hand. my God! Oh my! He's outside. You cannot That's stop 24 right kills! Now. Oh, 24 <laughs> kills! After breaking the kill record... For Has anyone beat that record since? Has anyone got more than 24 kills in a pro league match? For a a single match, match. He was now matched up against G2 Esports. The same roster that was owned by Pinta. And on it was Pinta, the guy who got him banned nearly two years who, who ago. Who by? Who did Let's it? Let's just say things were personal for Shaiko this time. On a Gary. Once again, and Shaiko finds him through the wall, through the hole that was made. Shaiko is literally like the John Wick of Siege, man. Shaiko finds another one of faith in that smoke dead. Goga is all alone here. One versus four. Not even going to find the first one. Shaiko closes it out. Shaiko's in a great spot to find another kill here. If things quiet down, oh! going off. He finds Pengu. What? Oh, what? what? And Fabian as well. A triple for Shaiko. This is an unreal performance. It's two versus the world. No puke. I'm going to 190 bits. Shaiko finds a fourth. He's looking for the ace. BDS is just powered up. Yeah, They're absolutely. powered up. They're, 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 they're max. That's Look at that point. panic. Just peeks it. They are Flawless running at round. maximum power. Now, they wouldn't end up winning the whole thing, but Shaiko finally being able to get back at the person that got him banned was hugely satisfying. And after his record-breaking performance in the event, everyone was talking about him, and he had become the talk of the community. People wanted to see where he would go. If he was capable of dominating lobbies full of Siege's best players, what was stopping him from becoming a world champion? Well, with some roster changes and a lot of practice, the team was able to accomplish some amazing things. BDS would place fourth at Invitational 2020. Down. Psycho's gonna have to clutch up hard. It's the second to die. Just gonna skip a bit. What are the ratings at the moment? I want to see. What's the uh, Siege GG in it? Siege GG. Who is number one for layer stats? Let's see. Okay, highest KD. Highest KD in the last one year. Parla, Volps, Shaiko, Kaze. Boy is up there. Ah, what about entry? Entry, entry. Shaiko's got the most entries. What's more, what's more impressive though? What's more impressive? KD or entry frags? KD ratio or entry frag? Right, the amount of entry frags you get. You think entry? Let's see. Okay, who? Are, let's see. Who are the gunners of this? Shaco, how do you say it? Nuez, Nuez, Cyber, Fancy, Sport. I, I, I swear, Nuez. I swear this guy is cracked. 